Hello, everybody. This is Yo Yo Fries playing Saints Row the Third, and we're playing some horde mode. I'm liking it. Yep, my pedo bear. <laughs> and thank you to Matto998 for lending me Saints Row the Third and suggesting this game. And so I pr appreciate it. And I will be playing. Uh, I'll be putting up a video of campaign uh, in the ne near future. I hope. But I'm still getting used to it. Like I like the game. I like the game mechanics and uh, stealing cars and all the various weapons you can use. But one thing that I don't like about it is the controls. Like, first of all, the sensitivity is crap. Like, it's so slow. If I play this game and then go back to Call of Duty or Black Ops 2, I am not used to it because like the Black Ops 2 sensitivity is so much like quicker and faster than Saints Row the Third. So that's something. Another thing is the button button layouts. And so the left thumb button is uh, crouch in Saints Row the Third, but in Call of Duty it's sprint. So whenever I want to sprint, I end up crouching in this game, and that usually gets me killed or ran over by a car or something like that. So getting on to the story for today. <laughs> I'm going to share with you guys a story, a pretty creepy story, actually. This happened about a week ago. Well, some of you might know that I live in a fancy apartment, and we have uh, a pool, t pool tables, ping pong tables, a uh, gym, indoor basketball court, and indoor pool. And an outdoor pool, but right now it's don't. The outdoor pool's not open. But yeah, it's pretty good. It's pretty nice. So one night, I decided to go down and shoot some hoops. Yeah, and I got ready, like, like Gatorade, and put on my basketball shoes, and just go down and took my basketball down. Just when I was warming up, this lifeguard from the indoor pool, like, the basketball court is right next to the indoor pool, so, like, I, th I, I think the lifeguard was bored that no one went swimming that day. So he decided to walk around, and he saw me playing basketball. So he, like, came into the court and asked me if he can shoot a few shots, or hoops. And what? He said a few, but it turned out to be, like, a lot. But, you know how, like, no offense to the black viewers out there, but some black people, they talk, like, in this accent that, or just this ghetto language that I, I absolutely cannot understand? And the indoor basketball court, like, the ball, when you dribble the ball, the sound like echoes and just you can't hear shit even and then there's this guy like yelling t talking ghetto to you and I was like what are you talking about and it, was, it turned out to be pretty awkward I had to ask him like several times like what what and he yeah he just wanted a few shots and he only took threes and like most half those were air balls and I was like oh my god come on I just want some alone time playing shooting some basketball I don't wanna I, I can't say that cuz I'm a, because he's like a tall black dude <laughs> so and after a few minutes and he left the court to go back to the swimming pool to check on people and I was like thank god so I, I shot a few shots like after a while he came back I was like no and he brought his iPhone with him uh, I was like and then he t gave me his phone, and I thought he wanted me to hold it, but like he said, he told me to take a few photos of him shooting the ball. <laughs> that, at that point, it was getting very awkward, extremely awkward. And uh, believe me, he has terrible form when he shoots, like even worse than me. I'm pretty bad, I'm pretty bad shot, but he's like worse than me, so that's saying something. And uh, he took like pointless threes and just like threw the ball into the air and like his phone was like an iPhone 4. I don't even think it's an iPhone 4s. Like because the camera is really old and like it took there was a one second delay when I after I pressed the button and then they took the picture. So like he wanted me to, to take like a photo of him in midair while he jumped. Like jump and shoot a ball. But <laughs> this guy has no hops at all. He's like He's tall and black and has no hops and I was and he kept saying take one more come on that's uh, that's not good or and something like that so I ended up taking about like 
20 or something like that photos of him and uh, it was hor horrible I just wanted to leave so bad and uh, he was completely serious he's like oh yeah take one more right there yeah can you like step back it's like really professional sounding it's like yeah you gotta like, angle that and you gotta like press that at the right moment and uh, that was the longest time I had I, had, I don't know how long it took, but finally he like he was satisfied with my with my photography skills, so he left and he didn't say anything. So he just walked out of court, and right after I, I can no longer see him, he's out of my out of sight. I opened the door and bolted like straight to the elevator. <laughs> I just and I just left and didn't go back for a few days. And that is the story of this creepy black guy I met in the basketball court. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed this game and this story. Yo, yo, Fred's out.